Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Muffy Clark Gill here, and we are looking at the harbor in front of the beautiful Eye of Fiber studio in Stewart, Florida, where I am taking a workshop this week. And I just wanted to show you the outside of the studio, and you can see where we're at. I love working here, and I love teaching here. And we're in Stewart, Florida, which is on the East Coast, and we're in the little village of Port Salerno. So I'm gonna walk inside and you can see the studio. And you can see people working here, but we'll look first. This is Suzanne's boutique. And she makes all the clothing here in indigo and shibori, which I just adore. And you can see she also does eco dyeing like she does in this top here. And some bags, her clothing, and you can see this is a, a batik top that Suzanne did versus the work that I do. And we're having fun today because we're doing Nigerian ad adir batik, which is a little bit different for me. Uh, I'm learning how to draw with a foam brush that we created in class. And I'm going to walk you over right now, and then you can see Gaselli. Gaselli's our teacher today, and love Gaselli Ademo's work. And he is drawing here with his foam brush that he showed us how to make in class. You want to say hi, Gaselli? Are you oh, busy? Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is uh, this is called Yoruba batik. With this, we use a sponge to create a beautiful design on fabric and it's very when i was talking to the student this morning it's very addictive because when you keep doing it you just have to make sure you have your lunch ready <laughs> so you have to get off. <laughs> it's fun yeah and i call it sometimes cheap way of making batik and it's just it's fun and i use the paraffin wax and paraffin wax is very it's very effective, like when you dye it, before even you dye it, you have so many cracks in between your design. And it's just basically how you control your wax. If your wax is too cold, it won't go through the back. And if it's too hot, your wax will be spread and make the design blurry. But you just stay on 220 to 250. Uh -huh. That is the perfect temperature to to get your design very well seen when you dye it. What is your favorite design to draw? Um, right now, actually, I was working on my, I call it my village, because all the houses so attached to each other in my village. We're very close company, uh -huh. family in my in my country, in Nigeria, and. After I paint my houses and then I put some trees, sometimes you see some animals like monkey, you see some squirrel, bird and stuff like that. And then you see people moving around from one place to another, like farming, come back from the, from the daily job, like marketing, people sell stuff on the street to make living like food items. And when people ready to come home, that is why one of my paintings is called After Market. So when we buy and selling, people pack everything up, then we put it on our head. That's why we call it After Market. Um, Versus yeah. the American form of Aftermarket. <laughs> after yeah, yeah. That is. So I'm gonna pan around here and let Gaselli go back to his work. And you can see us working in the studio. And we have several students here today. And you can see some of Gaselli's fabrics here. We'll walk up the back and you can see what I'm gonna be doing or I have been doing. So we're just walking back here to the studio. Look at this. Gaselli's doing a trunk show and gone hog wild with the batik fabrics. He's gonna have nothing left. He's gonna have nothing left, we're all saying. 
And Suzanne's over here. She's the owner of the studio. You want to wave and say hi, Suzanne? Hello. So she's been great at keeping the studio up. And here's a t-shirt that Caselli did. And now you can look over. And there's Deb. Deb's working away. Playing. Playing. And here is a piece I've been doing. This was based on an Anasazi pottery piece I saw online this morning, and I thought it would be fun to do that in batik. So this is using the sponge brush like Deb's doing here, that we cut out of foam. And she's dipping it here in the pot. And you can see my sponge brush is here, and there's, that's my practice piece. I've been goofing around. And we're just having a great time. So on that cheery note, I'm gonna leave you. It's I'm Muff lunchtime. It's lunchtime. And I'm Muffy Clark Gill. Can we take a picture of you and the Oh yeah, and um, mcgilltropicalart.com. And thanks for joining me today. Bye.